In this Autodesk Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to fix nested components. Sometimes when you're modeling in Fusion 360, you may forget to make the right components have the proper parents, and things might get all messed up in your model, and later you want things to be separate components at the same level in your browser. If you look at this model, it has a number of different components. It has, it has some bodies that are just at the top level. It has some nested components. It has a part inside, and then it has a part inside inside, and then it has a base that is at the top level. Sometimes you do want to have assemblies like this, but most of the time when you make mistakes like this, you just want your model to be organized correctly. Luckily, there's a simple way to fix this. It's always better to use rule number one in Fusion 360 and just make your components with the right parent from the beginning, but we can simply drag and drop our components in the browser. For example, this blue component, part inside inside, I can just drag it to the top level, and now it's in the top level. I can do the same thing with part inside, drag it to the top level, and notice nested components is no longer an assembly. The problem with this is sometimes you don't have the right design history associated with the components. Now if I right click part inside, I'll have some design history, and especially on part inside inside, I get just the design history of part inside inside, whereas when I'm on part inside, I have both of those parts design history. What about these bodies up at the top? We can fix those as well. We can just shift click the bodies, then right click, create components from bodies then these are now components too. And as you can see, when I go to the top level, instead of both of those bodies being pink, they now have their own colors in the component color cycling. So this way you can reorganize your model in the way you want and create components that are all at the same level. And if these components here should have been inside the base, we can simply drag them inside the base and that creates an assembly that way. Again, it's always best to use rule number one in Fusion, make a component and then model inside it. But especially when we're creating new prototypes or designs we've never made before, we don't know exactly the best way to put it together. Luckily in Fusion 360, we can simply unnest components by dragging and dropping them in the browser. So hopefully you can keep your models organized the way you want to and stay creative while you're modeling in Fusion 360.